thanks for joining us today on Around the Peninsula. I'm Maria Soreo. We are here today at the Admiral Risty Restaurant where you will meet some longtime employees who tell us the secrets to their success. Wayne, in talking to some of your employees, reading about their lives, how it's intertwined with this restaurant, why do you think they've stayed for so long? Uh, good question. Uh, I think uh, the working relationship we have with our employees is very positive and uh, the customers that we have are probably some of the easiest to wait on as far as being in this business. Uh, we have great clientele and that really has a lot to do with it. Plus they make a decent living and uh, it's, you know, we're consistent. That's, that's the thing that they, they uh, see. I think they appreciate that, especially those that have worked in other organizations. What do you look for when you go to hire someone? Uh, somebody who needs a job, uh, somebody who has the right typical attitudes toward customers. That's really important to us. So we try to hire people who like serving people, who like doing what they do. Not everybody's made for this business. No. Uh, it's a, uh, you have to enjoy making people happy to be in this business. So. You have so many repeat customers that are really family. Um, mm -hmm. Talk a little bit about that because I, I feel like the servers, you, everybody here, even the customer, it's sort of like being in someone's home almost. Well, over the years, we we have three and fourth generations, not just employees, but also customers where back in the 60s and then the early 70s, some of those people have children and their children have children and they've all, a lot of them become customers. Mm -hmm. They still live in the area. And then when they come back in town, they always come back in for a visit. So yeah, we, we count on repeat business. That's the nature of what makes us successful too, is that we're in a bedroom community. Right. Where, and we've always catered to the community. Mm -hmm. So that's been our, our goal, when Ralph and I met back in the late 60s, early 70s, we talked about long-term um, situations where we make decisions based on the long-term, not a short-term situation. We wanted to be here a long time, and we have. And something that, that I noticed for you is, in addition to what you do, you've been plumber, bartender, handyman, pretty much whatever needs done. Yeah, over the years I've had an opportunity to do a lot of different things, yeah. Yeah, I think that probably just goes along with sort of almost like having a home. Whatever needs to be done, you just jump in there and do it. It's, yeah, it's kind of the approach we take, yeah. Do you feel like the, the servers have bonded and have long-term relationships too? A lot of them have, yeah. We rarely hire a server. Most of the time we promote from within. Okay. And. Um, uh, we think it's a good way to teach people about the operation, how we deal with customers in a positive way, and uh, develop their attitudes and what they need to know to work with the customer, especially servers. Something else that everybody talks about, of course, is the food, and that the level of quality is, has always been there in the restaurant. Talk about that. One of the things we have is uh, long-term cooks have been here a long time. We have recipes developed, a lot of those de developed years ago, and then we continually try to improve anything that we have. So uh, many of the items uh, are 30 year old recipes and we're still using the same recipe. So we, we want to be consistent with what we do and the same people are doing the same jobs day in and day out. 41 years here at the Admiral Risty, how did you get the job, apply for the job? Tell me all about that first. I was managing a liquor store here in the center. And I opened it up and the owner sold and the new owner was going to run it himself. So he gave me two weeks to teach him everything I knew. <laughs> and. I knew John Wood was the manager then, Ralph and Risty's son, and he offered me a job as a waiter. So I just had to walk across the, across the parking lot to 
the new job. Didn't have to go very far. No, didn't have to look, really. So it worked out great. When you first came in here, did you think this would be a short-time job or? Yeah, I, I thought I'd do it for a few years. I didn't think it was going to be 41. What do you uh, think kept you here all this time? Consistency. With the customers, with the ownership and management, uh, the employees stay, yeah. you, you keep relationships with your employees, and it really has become a family. Yes. And it has been for a long time. You know, I think a family with people that work here and the community as well. I mean, we talk to people all the time that always come to the RISD. And so mm -hmm. a big extended family for you. Talk about that. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's, I mean, I like with Mike, we met and, you know, I got him the job here. And um, I actually grew up with. Ralph and Risty's kids. So I've known them as a middle schooler. And so they, we just continued that relationship into the professional world. You know, it's interesting too, in talking to everyone, a lot of you are from this, this area. Mm -hmm. So you really didn't leave home. <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's wonderful here. Yes. You know, I, my, my family left and they've been saying, how do I get back? <laughs> it's very true, yeah. especially when you look out the windows every day and see what you guys see. It's yeah, pretty amazing. It's, it's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. What, what else do you think makes this, you talk about consistency, what makes this so special? I, part of it is the consistency. People know what they're going to get when they come here. Mm -hmm. um, our clientele, they don't like surprises. Right. And they, they like stability. Mm -hmm. And they know they're going to get that when they come here. Interesting that you bring that up because so many restaurants kind of come and go, mm -hmm. and this isn't one to do that, is it? No. And, and a lot of people are want to try the new trends, mm -hmm. but they come back to the old standards at the end. Is it fair to ask you after 41 years what your favorite meal here is? <laughs> it's it's evolved. I used to be a steak guy and now I just I love seafood. And I eat seafood 6 days a week. Probably the sea bass is my favorite seafood. Okay. You have so many stories, I'm sure, over the years, things that have happened. Um, I'm sure you were here for many things, but the closing of Marine Land was such a an iconic moment here in this area. Tell me about that. It was very traumatic because it happened very suddenly and very secretly. Mm -hmm. And the night they closed, a lot of the employees were in here and having a goodbye drink, if you will. Mm -hmm. And we were looking out the window and we were very surprised because there was a truck that went by with an orca fin right out the window, wow. right out front of this. They were shipping the orcas down to San Diego. Yep. And that that was that was a memory seeing an orca fin go by your window. Yep. So they're in the big haul it out trucks. I think part of the charm of the peninsula is that it hasn't changed that much. Right. And the, somebody asked me that last week, and our, the city forefathers set that up so right. that it wouldn't. Mm -hmm. And that is, I think that's the greatest charm of the city. Only close two days a year, when do you get to take a vacation? Uh, I take it in the, during the slow period. I'll take I'll take a little vacation in January. Very good. So very good. You, we've talked a little bit about some of the, the you know the actors that have been in here and, mm -hmm. and athletes. So many athletes in this area. Who's one of your favorites? 
the well, it's the entire Allen family. Yeah. George Allen and and his kids and they. Uh, I grew up with them, mm -hmm. and they're wonderful people, and they're all, they've all excelled in their crafts. The restaurant, I think, is very family friendly, mm -hmm. and uh, parents aren't afraid at all to bring their kids, and they. And I think the kids feel comfortable. It's not st too stuffy for them. How many marriage proposals have you seen here? A few. Yeah. Not that many. It's been more anniversaries. Okay. And receptions and things like that. And a lot. It's what is amazing is that people that have their receptions here, and they come back and spend every anniversary here. Right which is really kind of neat. When I started here, it was a steakhouse. Okay. We had one fish dish, fresh fish, and it was sea bass and it was we had a sign over by the kitchen that let the people know if it was fresh or frozen. <laughs> <laughs> so then it evolved into seafood and, and we decided that we'd rather serve different fresh fishes than one that was maybe fresh or maybe frozen. Just make sure that customers get a fresh product. Now, the desserts are very famous as well. Tell mm -hmm. us a little bit about how that evolved. Well, we used to buy the German chocolate cake from Mayor's Bakery. Okay. And then we had a banana nut tort that we had, got the base from Mayor's Bakery. And they, Mayor's Bakery stopped making the bases. So we had to stop making the banana nut tort. <laughs> the desserts, we just all wanted to make them in-house. In mm -hmm. And they're all made here and all daily and fresh. and Delicious. Yeah. 